I would say masturbation was by accident that I discovered it in the bathroom. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this feeling is nice. And then there was that feeling of shame. Like you're like, uh -huh. oh, should I be even doing this? Like you, I think I did it maybe as a child a few times. Uh -huh. And that was it. It was just, I can, I can only re recall a few instances and that was all. And I didn't have any desires like, oh, I will sleep with this guy or I want to have sex with somebody or I just put everything in a box and you kind of lock, you lock the box and you throw away the key and you just move on with your yeah. life. So it's like functional, like just yeah. purely internal. You're I not just, fantasizing while you do that. Yeah, I just basically turned off the light you know, just, it's like a switch. Mm -hmm. I call it the switch <laughs> <laughs> and I can still do it to this day. I can literally, for me, it's like being on set and offset. I can turn on the switch in mentally and I'm turned on and like, I'm there. That's the world I'm in and I'm having fun. And in the moment, mm -hmm. the moment the camera stops, that moment is over. Yeah. You, a lot of people find this hard because I always get this question, you know, uh, from people like, how do you do this? Are you always turned on? Do you always have sex? Like, how is this for you? Are you sexually attracted to the guy? I'm there. I'm turned on because I, 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 I control me turning on myself, mm -hmm. you know, and that's it. And light off. So, um, light off. I know that's so wrong. <laughs> An allergy. But when I was a kid, for me, it was like the masturbation was like a switch. And then I was in that moment and then it was gone. And I didn't think about it. It was like yeah. I move on every day and you lock the key and you throw away the key. And that's how I felt. And yeah. for me, it was like that box. It's like the Pandora's box. You know, I didn't go near it again after these feelings of shame. And, you know, you're like, should I be doing this? And then you kind of stop and you move on with your life and you have other things to worry about. But it was this box, Pandora's box was there, but you don't go near the box. Cause you know, yep. when you open that box, you don't know what you'll find out about yourself that you might be afraid then to hide. You cannot hide it anymore yourself. So it was like a battle, it's an, an mm. inner battle. Yeah. Is with my demons. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, again, it's so hard for me to understand, but um, even a lot of Western people I've spoken to have said that they had similar like battles with the shame and whether it's with masturbation or with like having lots of partners, um, there's always like this feeling of, oh, should I be doing this? Is yeah. it right? Is it okay? Yeah. And yeah, getting to this point where you just think, okay, yeah, I can do whatever I want. And if it makes me happy, it's good. Yeah. It, it's a long journey. How did you get there? Oh, wow. That's a really long, good question. Um, I think, you know, the box was closed, the Pandora's box, you know, and then years mm -hmm. later, there was a moment in my life when I just left and I could explore myself, you know, just everyday kind of stuff. Not having to wear the headscarf, you know, going out, feeling the wind in my hair. Uh, you just left the religion. Uh, the religion mean, came or... later, just leaving okay. the environment. I mean, just leaving okay. home. It wasn't mm -hmm. really home, but let's call it home for now. Leaving the place where I grew up in mm -hmm. escaped. I would say it was more of an escape actually, um, escaped. And then you are wondering, okay, now I'm free. What do I do? Like you have to find, mm -hmm. you are no, you don't have anybody telling you to do this and that and behave this way, dress this way. And you are you either continue with what you were brainwashed with or taught mm -hmm. and you don't change anything, but you're still trapped by the past or you fight against it and you start questioning things. So mm -hmm. first thing was just with my routine, the way I dress and the way I eat. And then it came to sexuality because this was the one topic I did not touch because I was afraid, I would say. And I couldn't masturbate. I couldn't have an orgasm. And I was just like trying so hard because I was like, something's mm -hmm. wrong with me. You know, <laughs> I kind of, you take out the box, you try to unlock it, but the, it's the wrong key, you know? And I was so focused on achieving the end result because I thought the only way is okay. A healthy sexual life is you have an orgasm yeah, and that's what it is. Yeah. 
there was a wrong idea of sexuality, first of all. And also it's not like, uh, start the engine and, you know, it's not like a, and, uh, meeting ends. Especially uh, for girls. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I really was, I went, I, I saw it from a mechanical aspect, you know, I was yeah. like, okay, now I just rather use all the toys and nothing happened. Literally I was not having an orgasm. And I was wondering, and I felt bad, and I was like, what's wrong with me? Something's not right. Like, I've tried all the methods. <laughs> <laughs> this I is how guys feel, really, <laughs> when we're with a girl, and it's like, why yeah. is nothing I do working? <laughs> and it's, yeah, for the more pressure way. you put on, it's yeah, the it less likely the it is. Yeah. Because you're, like, you're so rigid, you kind of let go, because you're so focused on meeting the, of, of trying to achieve the result. Mm -hmm. that you forget the process and your body cannot, your mind cannot relax because you're so focused on, okay, I need to have an orgasm, orgasm. Nothing happened. And then, you know what? I was just like, okay, I'm too tired of this. I'm fucking like, sorry for my language. To hell with all of this. I'm not going to give, I'm not going to put any more effort into this. I'm just going to, whatever. Like I was so done with it. Literally. I even once cried. I was like, this is so I was like, this is so fucked up. Like every idiot can have an orgasm, but not me. <laughs> That's the way I saw it. And then uh-huh. I was like, okay, to hell with all of this. And then next thing you know, there was a moment and I was turned on in that moment. And I was like, oh my God. Okay. I didn't have any like routine. Okay. Let me get yep. a machine. So then I orgasm, but it took me months actually to have an orgasm. Literally, believe it or not, it literally took me months. I, I understand that. And I, that first moment was like, oh, wow. Like, now I get it. You know, now I know what okay. it means. <laughs> now we're awake. <laughs> that was like 10 years later. My last orgasm was probably 10 years before. So it was like <laughs> a long wait. And um, yeah. 